and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and today I am bringing you the couple of latest releases from Paint Gem. Um, as I'm filming this, these are the latest releases. However, they have been releasing like crazy recently. So understand there may be new ones out yet. But hey, you can team them up with these if you're going purchasing. So I'm going to start with the one that came out first. Uh, this one is the Tuscany edition. Absolutely love this one. Like I love them both but this Tuscany edition is beautiful. Uh, and as, usu as I usually do I am going to prep these for going into my stash while I unbox them. Um, in case you also prep in the same sort of way um, but I don't have the space to store the boxes um, which are an am amazing uh, and they do stack really nice but the amount I have in my stash uh, this I need to I need to condense a bit um, so I will show you the toolkit from the first one uh, but the second one's exactly the same uh, but you do get a toolkit with every kit. You get ooh, a white tray. You get a set of white tweezers in case you like to place your squares with tweezers. You do get a pen with a single placer and two multi placers. You also get a squishy that will fit on the end of your pen, or at least it will when I pull it down um, but yeah that can just help your pen be a little bit thicker it will go further down uh, you also get a little container with your wax and all of that in the most gorgeous little bag so I'm gonna pop those in with my toolkits uh, that I pass on sometimes because it is a nice toolkit uh, but I do use my own trays and pens so I pop them in my passing on set uh, then we have the colours for Tuscany, absolutely loads of really bright colours. I keep these diamonds just like this. Uh, they have the name of it on, so I just keep them the same. I'm trying to see if it's got another label underneath. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably just the original Coke label. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous colours. And if you look, you also get a sticker chart. And this has 36, 38, 42, 40, 46 different colours. Absolutely loads of different colours in this one. Um, beautiful, beautiful set. So let's have a look at the images. So I'm going to pop that box. That can either be used for recycling or if I have any gifts, um, I fold the box inside out um, and use this pattern on the outside for gifts. And then I do keep hold of this little wallet. Uh, but these are the paintings included in the kit. Love this sort of lavender fields with the little houses in the background. Um, I class these as the Paint Gem Mini full drill sets, uh, just because you do, you know, the, the scenery in the background. You'll see with the floral edition, that's more of a partial set, or at least I call it a partial because it's a weird shape. But the detail that they get into these small paintings is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that little river even got flowers on the hills and when you hold it close up you see how sort of detailed that is yet it just gives us that amazing image uh, this is one of my favorite one of their sets so far i don't know what is my overall favorite this is one of them um mushrooms is another <laughs> don't ask me why but it is um yeah and i i love working on all the sets so windows tiles mandela was a gorgeous one to work on i really liked working on that one um but yeah this one just screams beauty from the off 
So what I then like to do is I like to pop my stickers inside with my sheets, pop that together and then I keep the front and the back. Sometimes if they name them, the names are on the back. Um, in this instance they haven't but it is a nice little reference to which ones you've got in the set. I keep those together and I actually pop them in these little A5 wallets just to keep them all contained. This goes in with my diamonds, so all my diamonds are stored in one big tub and these now actually sit on my little Rascog cart. Um, no, not my Rascog, my mini Rascog cart. Uh, they actually fit perfectly in there so they're all stood up ready for when I do that. So that's set number one. Set number two is the Floral Edition point 2.0 because they do have a floral edition. This one is a little bit different. Um, they are all in vases, 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 whatever you want to call them. Uh, there is 16 different designs in this one, um, but there is of course less drills on each one, but you do get more designs than you do in Tuscany. Tuscany, you get eight. Um, but the drill count is actually on their website uh, and the drill count can often be higher on Tuscany than it is for example on this one and um, just due to the way the paintings are done so I'm going to pop my toolkit with my others this one again has floral uh, floral two set number 49 does not surprise me. I have a lot of paint gems. Uh, beautiful colours in this one. We are on a lot less colours. Um, so I think there's 12 on each. So is it 12? Yeah, good, because that's what I counted the last one on. So 24, 26, 28, 31 colours in this set. Uh, and they do give you the little stickers. They're that sort of size to pop on your pots which I love it since they've started doing that one. So let's move that box out of the way. Let's have a look at the canvas or canvases. Um, so as you can see, I class this one as a partial. You don't put any diamonds on the background. Your glue is just on the flowers in the vase. Even these little sections here where there is no diamonds, there is no glue there so that's why I personally call it a partial uh, because you're not doing any part of the background you're just doing the item itself uh, and paint gem have quite a nice mix of the two um, but yeah we've got some gorgeous designs of flowers in a vase these will look really, really nice sort of framed and dotted about. I actually have one of the houseplants designs framed in my kitchen. Uh, I've got a couple of shelves in my kitchen that have a couple of useful bits and a couple of decorative bits. And my houseplants is my decorative bit. <laughs> Brings a nice little bit of greenery, um, but any of these would be beautiful to do the same. Or if you like card making, things like that, they can be great for that. Uh, I often put mine into a display book and then if I ever want to change anything about I can sort of take them out of the display book and change them around but absolutely beautiful we've got lots of different styles of, of vase or vase I feel like I have to say both <laughs> And there's probably another way that somebody else says it. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of different styles. So they don't all look the same, even though they've, of course, got different flowers in them as well. Tall, skinny ones, quite a few different pops of colour being brought in with those. But they still have multiple colours. So we've got the white for sort of the like the shine uh, but then we actually have three different shades of blue on that one this one has three different shades of purple and that little bit of white uh, again we've got three shades here of sort of orangey yellow gorgeous roses in there uh, and then we also have three 
yeah three shades of pink i thought we had a uh, uh, red i thought we had a fourth one there but no there is there is shading there as well as of course shading in the flowers uh, so they're really really nice ones to do without having a bulk a bulk amount of sort of background to do so i will pop these ones also into an a5 wallet um, and pop these in with my other diamonds uh, then they will go on my decision wheel so ready when i finish the three sets i've got kitted up now i will kit up another three sets and these may or may not get picked time will tell uh, but i'll pop a link to them down below it is an affiliate link but it does also give you guys a discount code um, which can always help if you fancy treating yourself to a few um they they do get they do get rather addictive uh, and i love these have probably taken the place of special diamond paintings so quite often i would sneak in a special diamond painting or two when i would finished a big one um whereas now i tend to find I, I reach for these and i'll do them some evenings so i may have finished a section on my painting and fancy just doing a little bit more diamond painting so i'll grab um, a paint gem mini to do or if i'm going away uh, these are my go-to paintings to take away with me so if you've got any holidays coming up in the summer uh, and don't want to leave all your diamond painting behind paint gems are perfect for that but as i say i will pop a link to all the kits down below they are constantly being restocked um, so if you do find the one that you want isn't in stock um, do note they will restock them they are constantly restocking them uh, but they are also becoming ever the more popular so i often have to be very very quick <laughs> when a new release comes out if i want to get my mitts on it but yeah thank you all so much for watching thank you to paint gem for some amazing more amazing designs um i look forward to seeing what else they come up with but i will speak to you all again soon